Hello to all of my Capricorns. This is Queen of Moon Ra coming to you with your general reading, Capricorns. Let's do it. Let's see what your cards have to say. So Capricorn, um, on the 10th, if you're watching this video on the 10th, the moon moved from Cancer into Leo, right? So if you watch the if you watch Sunday's video, which went up early in some parts of the world, it went up on the 9th, um, then the moon was in Cancer, right? So that was the extra need for nurturing, feeling protected and secure in spaces, right? Um, and just being able to recognize that, like, where, where are your safe spaces? What feels good for you? What feels safe, right, for you, right? What feels nurturing for you with spaces? The moon in um, Leo is really kind of a call for you to allow yourself to be vulnerable and let people know what you want positive feedback on. So like, um, you know, I, I want like the human beings, you know, you want, well, every living being wants some kind of positive, you know, some positive feedback, right. You know, to let you know that you're headed in the right direction. And so there should be something that you can communicate to people, like to let you know whether you're headed in the right direction. Am I doing this right? You know, like sometimes you raise your hand in class as a student and say, you know, teacher, can you check this to see if I'm headed in the right direction? Am I doing this math problem right? Am I at least, you know, is this right? You know, so the same thing in your, your circle. All right, let's go. Here we have the four of swords. Here we have the five of swords, the four of wands. Here we have the six of wands, the empress card, and also the tower card. All righty. The empress card and also the tower card. Somebody is having a tower moment, some kind of awakening, some kind of a realization. Source wants you to get, um, get, you know, get your rest. Here we have the five of swords. Ooh, this is crazy. Here we have the five of swords. So it's two energies or whatever from your past that's, you know, lots of arguing, lots of, you know, words were exchanged, kind of hurtful things or whatever. But somebody is going to feel like also a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulders, right? Maybe new and exuberant love is coming across your path, mm -hmm. Capricorn. And, I'll, and by the way, I'm talking to you if you have a Capricorn anywhere in your chart, including if you're on the cusp of Aquarius or on the cusp of Sagittarius, I'm talking to you as well. Somebody's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted. Possibly somebody's moving. You could be celebrating something like these people right here are celebrating. You, but some something is going to feel like a huge weight has been released from your shoulders. Some kind of cord cutting ceremony you're doing. Like I need to cut away at something and I need to stop being so afraid to make a decision to close out cycles. Remember September 9th, 9-9, nine, nine, right? 9-9, nine, nine, the number 9 is the number, of re, number for rebirth right? Um, and I need to make my own decisions. I need to stop being so afraid, know that I got my ancestors around me. I know where I feel uh, secure, nurtured. I feel protected in certain spaces. I know where I'm getting good, positive feedback in certain spaces. I know, you know, so I do see major changes happening here as far as your tower card is. Staying in your light is really going to help you to move forward. Like no matter where you physically move to, like I said, somebody could have a new and exuberant love in a new space that you're in. And I do see you being victorious to that, but nevertheless, you have to sacrifice two other things in order to move in, into those spaces. Um, so whatever the energies that you're, you're moving into abundance and prosperity. So the two other energies you could be, um, releasing could be fear and doubt connected to other, you know, people, places, and things. Like, for instance, if you're moving to a new country or moving to a new state or city, okay, the two energies that you're sacrificing could be fear and doubt. I'm afraid that if I physically move, you know, you know, what's going to happen, right? I'm physically moving from one space to another. I'm ending a relationship and I'm moving to somewhere else. You know, what's that going to look like for me? Sit down with a sheet of paper and write it out. You speak into existence and you make sure you make it happen. So if that means that, hey, I need to get away from a bunch of arguing and disturbances so I can think clearly and take time to process, then that's what I'm going to do. You write it out. What does that look like for you wherever you're going? I'm going to a new department. I'm going to a new job. Something that's 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 going to cause you to celebrate is happening in your life right now but that fear of what's to come you know like a person who is about to give birth to a child i hope my you know I, i'm not sure what would you know but i i would hear people say like i hope my child has all 10 fingers and 10 toes that could have been a, a generation you know they could have been a certain generation that would say that right um you could say you know um 
I, I hope that, you know, my book does well. That could be somebody's baby. Or I hope when I write this song, you know, this is the baby that I'm giving to the world. This is my baby. I gotta, I, I gotta, you know, I've been holding on to these songs for years. I'm really hoping that, that, but it's the energy you put behind it. So it's just saying, get away from all of the, you know, overthinking the past hurt what somebody said they didn't believe me. All of that source is saying release all of that. So that's what somebody's parting ways with. And and again, I see a new and exuberant love in somebody's life. And like I said, it's just like I said, a tower moment. You know, some kind of an awakening. Right? Here we have the ace of wands, the nine of wands, the three of swords, the star card. We also have the seven of wands and also the ten of wands. Uh-huh. Yeah. Three of swords. We also had the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and also the Star card. So somebody was definitely born to inspire. Like somebody is definitely able to take care of themselves. Somebody is able to, no matter what spaces you're in, because in your light, that's where the healing is, right? And But getting to that, getting towards what, what your purpose is, your third eye is open right? Somebody is definitely a star in their own right. If you can look real close in here, this person is on the stage and people are just kind of like cheering for you. So somebody is definitely a star in their own right. And so wherever you're going, you know, I see you being booked and busy, lots of duties and responsibilities and not burdened at all by any deep disappointment or heartbreak because you're cutting cords, cycles and chains. Here we have the nine of wands and also the seven of wands. I see you being able to defend your decision to move on from something without coming across as defensive at all. And here we have the nine of wands. You're definitely in the light about some things, but again, you're moving forward, right? Definitely moving forward, right? So... Somebody could have been burned or burned out by Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius looking at it here in the cards. But the more and more you, you, you got to look at it too. It's like, if you've been influenced, since there's so much fun reason, I'm only saying that because there's so much fire here, it could have caused other, um, it could have caused damage in other relationships with loved ones. If you felt like, okay, I'm, I'm, this person fired me up so much or I'm such in a state of confusion, like you're going to have to raise your frequency to see how the sword cuts both ways. This is not all about somebody did something to me or somebody didn't give me chan a chance to process things. How did the sword cut both ways? Source is calling for everybody to look inward. That's why the tower card keeps coming out. It's like, was I around? Was I in spaces where I felt like I was rushed and hurried? Did I give off that energy? Remember, our bodies are made up a large percentage of water. So that water are our emotions, our feelings, our joy, our you know, um, healthy range of emotions. Was I in a codependent relationship that threw relationships with my loved ones out of whack? You know, and, and you know, did I did I do so, did I say something in those relationships that could have caused you know damage to a point where people just decided, hey, I'm done. Right? It was taking Capricorn too long to catch on. They love me, but they they're done with that part. Like, so it's a lot of major things. That's what that's why the Tower card is out here. It's a lot of major things that's happening right now, Tower um, Capricorn. But again, is if you continue to move forward, your ancestors are saying keep on moving forward. Now that you know what could cause. Um, damage in love relationship with loved ones now that you know the types of energies that can cause damage in relationship with loved ones move on from that move on from that you know like for instance um what's also coming to me is like sometimes people marry people and all of a sudden your whole family just turns against you and then you feel like it's just you against just like you against the world like now that you start thinking you, you with some energies that make you feel like, oh, they just jealous of you because their relationships didn't work out and such and such, only to find out later on you could have been with a narcissist. And then that humility of having to say, wow, they were right, you know, that that's why they may not even known the term narcissist. But source is saying to you, you know, there's definitely been some heartbreaking, deep disappointment going on. It could have, you know, it could have really, really hurt somebody, you know, to just be surprised and shocked that because you didn't know to tell somebody to give you some time to process your thoughts. And that's why I talk about processing so much for my divine feminine signs, because if you are rushed, if you, if you feel like you are forced to speak up more or to whatever before you even have a chance to, or, you know, to tell everybody your ideas. There are certain signs, I'm telling you, there are certain signs, if you're not keeping them up to date, like, 
like you a sports newscaster or whatever, that they their insecurities kick in. And that's just not how you all operate. Like you need time. And so somebody may have found out by dating or being married to somebody that man just threw everything out of alignment. So again, I do see, like I said, somebody back in the saddle again somebody kind of really lay, um, laser focused on getting, you know, um, you know, motivated, inspired and clarity. I'm seeing some kind of approval for money coming across your path. Um, here we have the, and I can't reiterate this enough Capricorns, you know, um, source really wants you to learn how to keep any reactions at bay. Like, you know, keep, if you were, if you were with somebody who was always blow torching you or playing these mind games and you were dealing with a narcissist that will ruin relationships. Like a lot of people bring narcissistic energies into their own family and don't even realize it until guess what? People don't want to deal with you anymore. And then you like, well, what's everybody's jealous, but that's exactly what the narcissist is trying to do. It's trying to detach you, trying to ruin your relationships from the inside out. Anybody who know, if, if you've ever dealt with a narcissist and you want to help somebody, drop some comments below Capricorn because they will ruin your, they will ruin your whole family structure. They will literally turn your own family against each other. They keep stuff going. They just, that's how they thrive. And so if there's some relationships where they feel like they have come in and ruined them, the ones that really love you, love you regardless. They still love you. They like, we understand, understand and overstand. But here's the death card right here. So something has definitely ended permanently. But again, make sure if it's ended with some loved ones, that it ends with a narcissist as well. Because otherwise, you're not going to see it for years and years. And you can end up zombifying out. Here we have the eight of wands. And so source is saying to you, you know... Um, Somebody definitely can take care of themselves, right? I'm talking to you again if you have um there there is an Aries. There's an Aries that's having a tower moment right now. Somebody has Aries somewhere in their chart that's having a tower moment right now. <clears throat> um and they could also in the tower moment for them is like everything is being, you know, like an awakening. See, a tower moment is not, it's, it's a lot more layered than just karma, right? That's just part of it, right? Um, like, like to say that somebody is going through a tower moment right now could just be an awakening that, hey, you know, I can take care of myself. You know, I, I really, really, I have an awakening that I don't have to continue being attached to. I don't have to be in unhealthy relationships. I can just take care of myself, right? Here we have La Luna. Something from your past is trying to resurface. Some kind of feelings of overwhelm are, try, are, are resurfacing. Here we also have the Six of Pentacles and then also the King of Wands. So you have a lot of great ideas that's going to make somebody very, very wealthy. Like I said, some... some and again, the loved ones who love you, you don't have a whole lot of ancestors around you now, right? You have ancestors, but not as many as before. So like I said, somebody could have decided they're heartbroken, they're deeply disappointed, and they're deciding, hey, I need to move on from this. Instead of me, it's a pivotal point for somebody that you love. They're trying to decide, hey, should I move on? And they've already decided to move on, right? But they still love you, agape love, right? Because for them, it's just complete and total burnout. But the sword, the sword cuts both ways. So you could feel the same way and just move on. But remember, somebody was dealing with a very narcissistic energy that caused the, a, a breakdown in that, in that unit, dealing with loved ones. Somebody was dealing with a narcissistic energy, possibly, possibly a couple of narcissistic energies. So that's why you have some family members that recognize what some people don't want to see because they're so, they're so close to it. They're like, I'm not dealing with that energy at all because I see what you not, you don't want to see. You're like, but I just want everybody to get along. Yeah, you may want everybody to get along, but the only reason why we're speaking to some people is because of you. We love you. That we don't want to deal with. We already see what you don't want to see. That can be very heartbreaking. And for you, it can make you feel like, okay, I'm not, I can't, I'm unclear about making the best decisions. And that can make you, that could cause you to zombify out. 
So be grateful when loved ones are saying to you, and I'm talking about in love and agape love, Capricorn, when they're saying to you, I trust that you're making the best decision for you and I'm sending my love through the air. I'm, I'm sending my prayers through the air. I, I, I wish you the absolute best, but I already see. I, I just already see. So like I said before, major changes are happening here. Like I said, somebody, you know, something has ended. Something, somebody has just decided, whether it's you or somebody else, because that sword cuts both ways, have decided I need to move on from something. I'm tired of being burned out. I'm tired of being confused. I am just exhausted. I'm just drained and exhausted. I'm tired. Um, let's see. So whatever it is, accept whatever it is, some, some closures in love, just accept some closures in love, accept some closures in love so that you can go ahead and move on with your life. And again, somebody's going to feel like some huge weights have been lifted off of your shoulders. There we go. Number six, I am nurturing. Your heart is your gift, Capricorn. You are a natural born nurturer and have great talent for helping and healing others. You are the epitome of self-sacrifice and the protector for those that you love. That's right. So this is a good thing because, let me make sure I got everything out here. This is a good thing. Even though for some people a tower moment may feel like a bad thing. That's why I, I, I try to offer the, um, several sides to a tower card. I know people get tired of seeing a tower card come out in your reading. But the tower card can actually be good because it really is an awakening. Source is saying to you, I'm going to get the message through to you. However, I need to get the message through to you to stay in your purpose, to stay in your light, that you are self-sufficient, that you can take care of yourself. Like, for instance, you may have been raised by a parent who is very independent, like very, very independent to a point where they come across like they don't really need anybody, right? Right. And that something about their energy taught you to also be independent, that you saw them thrive, survive, and also thrive. And you know that you have that same thing in you. They may not have walked you through their journey of how they became so independent. They may have got burned out, frustrated, dealt with narcissistic energies themselves because it would be too overwhelming to try to break all of that down to you. Like, this is what a narcissist is. This is how they act. This is how such and such, this is, this is the kind of childhood I went through. Like really to try to tell a child all of that, trying to stuff all of that. <laughs> you would be exhausted just trying to hear all of that stuff. Right? So whatever it is, whatever it is, it's all, I'm telling you, it's all good. You're divinely protected, you know, during this time, you're divinely protected. You're going through a rebirth of abundance and prosperity. But when I look at this, a narcissist would, this would be a narcissist dream that they can come in and ruin your family. They can come in and ruin something that was so sacred for you, an attachment that was so sacred. That would be their dream until they realize, guess what? They not, they can't, they cannot control you either. But see, you're still left. This is the upside of all of this. You're still, left, and again, take only what resonates with you. You're still left with this level of independence that you can take care of yourself. See, that's why it's good to, that's why it's good to, no matter what kind of relationship would you have with your parent, it's not by parents. Let me see parents. It's not by coincidence that you chose those parents because some parents are so independent, you know, in their thinking and if you look at the silver lining of your, if you can find any good thing about your parents, that's why I talk about forgiveness on my channel so much. If you can find any good thing about your parents and use that as a silver lining, like you may have those parents who, you know, up and just go and do things, up and start a business, up and travel, up and just do, you know, like they just, they just, you all are cardinal signs. So they, they don't, they don't have a problem with change. They're independent in the way that they think they are, um, just warm spirited. They don't easily like lose their cool. They're not going off. They find a silver lining. Here we have the queen, um, the two of hearts. We have the queen of hearts. We have the five of spades. We have the eight of spades. We have the um, queen of diamonds. We have the jack of diamonds. So two of hearts. I see soulmate energy coming across somebody's path. Soulmate could be a really, really good friend or could end up being a love interest. I see you having an enormous amount of compassion moving forward. I um, also have the eight of spades and also the five of spades here. So to overthink this and to replay it over and over and over again about two situations in your life, source is saying to you, just move forward because 
as heartbroken and deeply disappointed as you may be, it'll literally drive you crazy. This is the eight of spades. It'll literally make you losing your mind. If you overthinking, oh my God, I can't believe I sacrificed this relationship for this relationship. And I can't, I can't, if you overthink, don't overthink it. People who love you, I'm talking about agape love. They still love you. Even if they've decided to move on with their life, they still, they genuinely do love you. And we're talking about your loved ones here. We're talking about family members. They genuinely do love you. They see that you're just going, you're going through life <laughs> like everybody else, right? So here we have the queen of, um, the queen of diamonds and also the jack of diamonds. So source said, continue working, continue investing in yourself. Some kind of an approval is coming across your path. In other words, and, and um, continue working hard, like you, in, which I don't have to tell any Capricorn that you are the hardest working sign in the Zodiac. Somebody is, if you can look at it this way, um, Capricorn, that not only are you powerful and intelligent, um, you have a good heart, you know, you have all these great ideas that you have. You're literally the king of ideas. I'm talking to men and women, Capricorns. You're the king. This is fire energy. This is masculine energy. You have the king of ideas. If you focus on the past and what was said and what was done and what burned you out and all that, it's going to take a long, it's going to take a longer time for you to celebrate the blessings that's trying to come your way. So source is saying, give all of that to source. Like, you, like I said, I get a feeling that somebody, because I'm seeing this right here, somebody may have had a mother specifically that was independent in their thinking, like just kind of sort of kind of a, a very free spirited type of energy. Somebody could have had a mother that was a very free spirited kind of marcher to beat of their own drum. You know, this, uh, you know, thinking outside of the box box could have been seem like they were weird or strange or different or whatever the case may be. And source is saying to you, <clears throat> Um, they may have taught you how to nurture yourself in a sense, just by their actions. They may have taught you how to nurture yourself. So, and as weird and crazy as something may have been, a situation may have happened. If you're looking at it like just in 3D, as weird and crazy as something may have been, you may not have a choice but to nurture yourself now, right? However events went down, you may not have a choice but to nurture yourself at this point. So, and this is moving through generational. This is generationally, right? You're breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. And so if you have children one day, you're teaching your children how to nurture themselves, not to, not to, when I say nurture themselves, like you're teaching them about birth charts and things like that. What's your moon sign? And, you know, if you feel like, okay, mom or dad are, is at work and you're at school and they feel like emotionally they're drained or whatever, what do you do in the meantime to nurture yourself until you can get back to us, right? Like, what do you need? Do you like putting together puzzles? Do you like to write? Do you like to color? You know, those kind of things. Like what nurtures your spirit if mom or dad are at work and you feel emotionally drained or stressed over a situation. Maybe you're not getting the math problems together, right? Like maybe you're not understanding. Do you need to have a tutor that takes their time and explains things to you in a different type of way than maybe your teacher explained until you get it? So when I'm in class, I can keep up with everybody else. That's what I mean. Like, you know, teaching you how to be a little bit more independent in your thinking. So whatever it is, you may have had somebody to teach you that. You're very close to achieving your goal. Very, very, very close to achieving your goal. So, like I said, you know, life is happening for everybody. <laughs> life. <laughs> oh, my God. The earth is a trip, right? But, no, no, listen, for real. Life is happening for everybody. And it looks like, you know, somebody is, you know, moving forward, you know, in life. And, and, um, and don't let it burn you out. So, if you feel like I need to have a, a conversation or whatever... The message will be put on people's hearts to have a conversation with you so that you don't have to go through life confused or nervous or scared or whatever. Here we have orgasm, 29. 29, 2 and, two and 9 is 11. 11 is, like I said, this reading is for the 11th of September. 11 is a um, is a portal. Whenever you see 11, like the wall plates, those two slits, that's the number 11. Looking out your window, that's the number 11. That left and right um, pillar, that door, number 11. Your um, cell phone, number 11. The mirror, number 11, right? And so sources say, thrust your body, elevate your spirit, open the gates to your renewal, right? There's a lot of growth all around you, a lot of growth all around you. You're talking about internal growth of your spirit. Somebody's learning how to put structure in place, all of those things. There's a lot of growth all around you. And so take advantage of all of that growth. 
you know, around you. But the answers that you really, that, that you need are coming. Like I said, you're very close to achieving your goal, right? And, um, and so, like I said, you're very close to achieving your goal. So, you know, keep your vibrations as high as possible. If you want, if you want source to put something on somebody's heart to say something to you, go directly to source. Source, I, I, I'm, I'm so confused right now. I'm starting to get myself burned out and confused, and I don't want to feel like that. Like, help me, you know, help me in that because you don't need anybody's approval. Source has already approved you. So have compassion for a situation. Like I said, you know, you got soulmate energy trying to come across your path, and what? Yeah. Yeah, so you're you're on your throne when it comes to people see you as down to earth, very relatable. They see you attract the energy of money. The energy of money is attractive to you. Again, continue working on yourself, continue motivating yourself. You don't need people around you that's blow torching you or leaving you in a state of confusion. You need clear and concise conversation about, you know, if you burning somebody out because you're not answering things fast enough or you feel like you're not moving fast enough, then people won't tell you that. Like let people tell you, hey, listen. I don't like the confusion. I don't like being in a state of confusion, right? And you come right back with, I just need some time to process things. Okay, now everybody got the answers, you know, no more confusion, whatever. Um, and then again, you're having compassion. We have the queen of your emotions. That's the compassion piece right there. Um, but stop the overthinking. Stop the overthinking. You got royal energy in every one of your elements except thinking. Like somebody is really thinking the worst of a situation. They replaying arguments and going, oh, and, I mean... <laughs> replaying the negative in their head. So here we have worth. Here we have, you have been worthy to belong to love all along without any need to improve. In fact, you are love itself, right? So yeah, we got this, 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 this. Yeah, so you you have already always been smart. You've always been, you know, able to make your own decisions. You know, somebody's an adult now. You're on the other side of a long and arduous journey. So like, like I said before, Source wants you to be happy. Here we have affirmations for confidence. I matter. I am kind. I act in spite of fear. I keep the promises I make to myself. My voice matters. Someone needs to hear it. My tribe wants me to succeed. I allow doubt to float away with ease. All right, that is what I have for you, Capricorns. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you all on Wednesday. Bye.